Hey, hi, hello, it's Christy with Crafting All the Time, and this morning I am going to make a journal cover um, using packaging paper um, and this box of fabric snippets. Now what this is, is I had gotten, um, I had had someone give me a whole ton of fabric samples. Um, I think they were closing their fabric shop, or I don't remember, it's been a few years, but they had put an ad on the Facebook Marketplace that if you wanted any, they were giving it away for free, and I went and I got all of it. Um, the thing about it is that some of it, this backing doesn't peel away nice. Um, it'll either stick, or it's got some really, really sticky stuff on the back that I can't run through my sewing machine. Ooh, actually this one's peeling. <laughs> nope, see, there it goes. Um, and when that is the case, because if I run it through the sewing machine, it gums up my needle, and then that's, you know, that becomes a problem. So um, I just cut these pieces off that have this backing on them, and um, I just use those for glue pieces. So that's what all of this is. The parts that I can sew are in a different place, but these all have that uh, backing. And there probably is a way to fix that, to get that off. Um, I just don't know what it is. So that's what I've been doing, is just using these strips for gluing onto stuff. So today, they're gonna come in handy because I'm gonna make a journal cover. Um, so I want this to be six by nine, oops, six by nine, Christy, six by nine. Um, so I'm just going to set this at six. It is a little difficult because I think I tore it down pretty close to the right size, honestly. Um, I think I've only got a tiny bit of trimming to do. And it is kind of hard because... Or, um, because the paper is wrinkled because it's packaging paper and that's what I love about it is that it's wrinkled but at the same time it does make this a little more difficult <clears throat> so how is everyone this morning I hope you're doing well I hope that you're going to find some crafting time on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, so, I just am fitting in a little bit of time before school and work, um, as usual. I had planned to film ahead, but that didn't happen. So, we're just going to see what we can get done this morning. All right, so um, I don't really know. I don't have a plan as far as colors. Um, probably, well, I could use this piece I was playing with. Um, sorry, these are dumping out everywhere. And if I used this piece, I just need some colors that will look good with it. Um, this one, could maybe piece on right there. The other thing I'm going to do, um, they were cut using those, um, pinking, are they called pinking shears? Which I have a pair, I just don't know what happened to them. So, since I can't cut all the pieces that way, I may wind up cutting these edges off. I don't know. Oh, I am so sorry. I just woke up and came directly in here, so I didn't even get any coffee yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start cutting and laying it down. Um, I'm not going to think too much about it. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to lay it down, uh, you know, glue it down, and then... Um, We'll see how we like the results. However, I cannot seem to find my scissors, so 
give me just one second. I'll be right back. Are we recording? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So, and the reason I'm going to do it this way is just because um, I could spend forever trying to uh, lay it all out. And then the minute I move it, I will forget what I had done. So I'm just going to lay it down and see what we think. Um, I'm trying to decide about these edges. It's not that it's a really big deal that some of them have that and some don't. Um, but I think I'm going to trim it off anyway. On this piece anyway I may not on all of them I don't know I'm just gonna take it one piece at a time and see what I think okay so it is like I said it's Tuesday it is really really cold um, it's raining outside, but that's supposed to turn into a snowy mess here in a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going to go to work. Um, we talked about it yesterday, and I told my boss that, you know, if the school's closed, I wouldn't be there. Well, the schools haven't closed, um, but at the same time, I work about... 30, 35 minutes away, I don't want to get over there and get caught in a mess, you know, where it's like it gets ugly um, and I'm stuck. I don't want to do that. Um, so I just can't decide what I want to do. Uh, well, I know what I want to do. I always, always want to stay home in my craft room. <laughs> Um, I do have a lot of schoolwork to do, and I just, as I was turning on <clears throat> the camera to record this video, saw where my teacher, one of my teachers, had um, sent out a reminder that we had a quiz due that I didn't even realize we had. I don't know. It shows how much attention I'm paying, doesn't it? Um, so... Which, I mean, is fine. It's due tomorrow night, but, um, and it's like a five-question quiz. It's not a big deal, but I did start decorating for February yesterday on my bulletin boards at work. So I went to the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree is an activities director's best friend, I think. Um, and uh, at least so far. But remember, I'm new to the position. But it seems to be so far. Um, and I went there and got some Mardi Gras stuff for one of my boards and some Valentine's stuff for the other. And I started putting the Mardi Gras stuff up. And those boards are a lot bigger than... Um, I had anticipated um, because I got all of my Mardi Gras stuff up and I still need a lot more stuff for that board. Um, so, of course, some of it I want to make. I already knew I wanted to make. Um, and some of it I'm going to have to probably go and do another shopping which I'm sure will thrill my boss to no end because, you know, budget. Um, not that I spent that much, but I have a pretty small budget. We're a very small facility, so I guess I'm lucky I have much of a budget at all. But my budget is only $80 a month. My thought process being that since I had not, since I'd just taken the position, I hadn't spent any of my January budget at all. So, um, used my January budget to buy the 
materials and decorations and things, and then I have my February budget available for the actual parties and activities. Um, that was my thought. But it's still, um, you know, a struggle as far as the budget goes. So, but we currently only have 17, no, 18 residents, I think. So, I mean, it's, it's a small facility. My house is waking up. My husband's up getting ready for work. He has to leave soon. And I think I hear my son. So. If I'm interrupted, you guys will know why. So, I noticed yesterday that I'm up to four subscribers on YouTube. I know that's a tiny amount, but oh my goodness, I appreciate every one of you. Um, I was excited to see even one person subscribe, and so I'm very happy with that number, especially since I've only been on here a week. Well, I guess a week and a half now. Only thing is, see how this is overlapping here? That can be a problem um, as far as getting it to lay nice. I did this uh, same process with leather strips um, in my husband's journal a few years ago, and um, it stayed. It, it really did, which was impressive. Um, but Every now and then, he'll have a piece pop loose, and I'll just have to sew it back on, which isn't a big deal. Or not sew it, but glue it back on, which isn't a big deal. But since I can't sew these pieces, um, The one good thing about, or well, one of the good things about the Aline's Tacky Glue is that it does hold pretty well. Um, it's not just inexpensive, it, it really holds, so. Sorry if I'm being exceptionally quiet this morning. Like I said, I'm just waking up. I really, I may uh, pause you here in a minute and go get me some coffee. <laughs> um, because I haven't had any yet. But, we'll see. One minute. Okay, sorry about that. My husband was going to work and he came in to tell me goodbye. Motion detected at front door. Um, anyway. So, I don't remember what piece I was working with there for a minute. Oh, there it is. Um. So I don't remember what we were talking about, but that's okay. My mind just went totally blank. Oh, I think I was telling you about shopping um, and budgets and boring stuff. Boring, boring, boring stuff. So...
Yesterday I tried, while I was working on the bulletin board, I put on a movie. Tried to get my residents down to watch the movie, but they weren't interested. I had one who watched part of it. Um, but, yeah. This job is, is uh, I mean, I've got all kinds of ideas, but putting them into practice is... Um, taking some doing, I think, to figure out how exactly I'm going to do that. I did get a hold of, I, I think I told you guys I'm doing a Mardi Gras party. Um, I did get a hold of the hospice, one of my hospice people, and they're going to bring us some king cake cupcakes for the party. And, um, also we're going to, uh, I've, I'm going to make non-alcoholic jello shots, um, in the king cake, king cake look, provided I can, I've got a recipe, provided I can follow it and make it work, <laughs> um, I'm going to do that. My husband said that my son is asleep. I thought he was awake. He said he's asleep. I don't want to use that one. Let's see about this. It's got a lot of holes in it. But let me see. Oh, this blue. I need to use some of this blue. Right up there. Um So, since my son is um, asleep, I had to leave my office door open, which is fine. There's no one here. But if you hear my dogs, you'll know why, because they're in the house, and because um, it's raining and cold out. Um, usually this time of morning, because they're in the house all the time, but usually this time of morning, they go out for their morning romp in the yard, and... Uh, just too cold and too wet to romp they're like no we are going to stay inside where it's warm and curl up on the couch which is fine um, it wouldn't be a big deal at all except we've got one who's a little bit of a troublemaker and she likes to tear up basically anything when she's alone um Especially like, you know, shoes and anything soft. And then one of the, we have three. And so the oldest one who had, had been such a good boy has taken to getting into the trash if he's alone. So, um, yeah, so usually... If I'm back here and everyone's asleep or I've gone to work or whatever, I will um, have them outside doing their romps, but not today. And I'm quiet again. I am sorry. Some of you might actually prefer that, though. Some of you might be, um, might prefer the non-chatty. However, I mean, as I did with a couple of others already, I will make both a chatty version that's, uh, you know, the unedited version, um, and a uh, no talking version that I'll put some music on and then you can either turn the music up or down depending on your taste <clears throat> um, 
and that I mean when I do those I can speed it up and um, you know some of this part that's like just cutting and gluing um, will go much quicker instead of you know those of you that want to spend the time with me and craft along or you know whatever um, get your version and then the people who really just want to see what I did and and uh, not so much you know follow along while they craft have the shortened version and so that's okay I can I don't have my little scissors over here so I'll just leave that because I don't want to mess anything up and I'll cover it it will be fine Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else do I have for this? So, um, I'm not sure what my plans are for the day. I need to do some writing um, for my uh, writing class. Um, I've told you guys probably in the last two, three videos that I'm required to keep a daily uh, journal that I write in like 30 minutes a day. Um, for the first couple of weeks and then after that I can set my own schedule but um so I've got a little bit of catching up actually to do in that one um because I didn't start until yesterday and so I was three days behind um so I need to do that and then I don't know beyond that um I've got some reading to do. We're reading Howl's Moving Castle um, in my children's lit class. And then next week, I think, we're going to watch the movie. Because um, we're studying adaptations. And so I've got that to do. I started trying to read it last night. Well, listen to it on audio. But I was so tired that out of all of what I read, which I think was like first three or first two chapters because I had just gotten to chapter three um the only thing I remember is that there was a witch and there was a wizard <laughs> that's pretty much it um I was really out of it I went to bed at um well before seven just before seven I was so tired so and in spite of the cold, I was hot and sweaty because I'd been working on the bulletin boards and kind of running around. And um, I am too old now to shape. <laughs> so um, I was, yeah, I was really out of it and tired. In fact, I stopped at my mother's on the way home because I promised her that I would. And she had bought me some jeans and uh so i stopped there and she wanted me to try on the jeans and i'm like mom i'm so sweaty i don't want to put on these jeans on my sweaty body and so i said i'll you know try them on at home and send you a picture and then i got home and just went you know basically went to bed almost well almost as soon as i got home um, in the shower and stuff, but, um, so I have to do that today, which will be fine. 
she was very understanding. She did call me, though, in the middle, well, not in the middle of the night. It was the middle of the night to me because I was asleep. But she called me about 8 o'clock, and she was like, did you make it home? And I was like, yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to call you. But... So... Um... So, yeah, I do have a few things to do today. Um, but I want to make some rose, some larger rosettes for um, our bulletin board. And I need to make like a, an envelope or a box that I can put... Um, like coloring pages and um, puzzles and those sorts of things into, uh, you know, printables for uh, my residents on the weekends or the days when I'm not there for one reason or another um, so that they have something to do. Um, so that's on my agenda for today. Um, now the rosettes, I'm still trying to figure out. Um exactly how I'm going to do them because I want them to be big um, and then I want to make some honeycomb balls to hang um, but I've got to get some um, tissue paper for those and I forgot to do that when I went to the store so I'll have to do that later I got to pick up that and I need to get some popcorn um, for popcorn and movies although my residents do not seem overly interested in movies so I don't know that may become a very small part of my um, calendar just do it when um, when something comes up or like when we have nothing else to do and I think that part of the problem is they watch movies a lot on the weekends when the activities um, aren't going on um, that's what the nurses do they turn on movies for them um, so you know I mean nobody wants to watch movies all the time um, so or I guess there may be some people that do but Anyway, so I thought maybe today we might play poker or something if I go to work <clears throat> um, and get them down there and we can play some. or something easy that you know even those who don't normally play poker can do um, But yeah, so that's basically all that's going on in my world. Um, I feel like all I ever talk about is either work or school, but that's pretty much my life, work and school. <laughs> um, I haven't, since my daughter um, met her boyfriend, I guess, um, they're just now moving in together. Um, since they not met but since they started dating they've known each other for a while they work together but since they started dating um, I don't see her very much um, and so I don't see my grandkids very much either her kids um, and hers were the ones that I had you know uh, the closest relationship with as far as like I saw them all the time 
um, because they virtually lived with me um, all the time, their whole lives up to now. Um, so sometimes they did live with me and other times they just virtually lived with me. Um, so I haven't seen any of them very much in several months and um, so and then my uh, youngest grandson his dad he lives with his dad um, my daughter's uh, ex-boyfriend or fiance or whatever um, and his new girlfriend and their son and um, they just moved to remember like Nebraska or Wyoming I don't know someplace far away anyway um, and so I haven't seen him in quite a while um, and then my son's children I, I just I never have seen them a whole lot um, he stays very very busy and uh, his wife is in LVN school and he is running a business and so, you know, they, they just have their plate full. And so I usually will see them like um, for holidays and um, every now and then, you know, but not, not very much. And um, so it's been kind of quiet on that front too. Um, I haven't seen any of them in I don't know, at least a couple of weeks. Um, well, no, I take that back. Uh, my daughter's um, youngest son, Sebastian, um, he's nine. Or, yeah, he's nine. He'll be 10, I think, in February. I think that's right. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think he's going to be. No, he'll be nine in February. Um, he was here the other day. He walked over after school because we live directly across the street from his school. And so he walked over after school and stayed with us for just a little bit while um, his mom was at work. So, but that's pretty much been it. Um, my her older two are both in middle school and they walked to their friend's house so they weren't here so. well, I'm just piecing this together and um, There are going to be some spots where it's going to kind of overlap. I'm trying not to allow any spots to be open to the brown paper. Um, I really want it completely covered. But I'm also not going to, um, you know, worry too much about it. Because this is just the base and it's going to have a topper on it. Um, so... My biggest thing is just making sure that the glue holds and that the pieces stay on since I don't want to sew. Um, and again, that's just strictly because I don't want it to gum up my needle. Um, it's entirely possible to clean the needle if it does gum it up. I know that. I've done it. The problem is that it's so time consuming. Because you can only get maybe a row done and then the needle's too gummed up and it quits working. And so then I have to take it off and I have to clean it real good and then I have to put it back on and then I have to re-thread it, which my eyes are not that great. So that can be kind of a hassle. And so I just prefer as much as possible not to um, not to sew this kind of material, you know, the with the backing. So, I 
one day I may figure out, you know, a way to remove this backing and get the sticky off. I thought about using some Goo Gone. I just didn't know what it would do to the material itself, which I mean, I guess I could test on a small area and see. Um, it's not like, you know, it's fabric that I, you know, it's irreplaceable or it's, you know, something I'm wearing or something like that. So, I mean, I guess that's not a big deal. Um, I just haven't done it. Honestly, I guess I've just been lazy or whatever. I just haven't done it. Um, so... Color doesn't really go, but let me see. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do another pattern maybe on the back. Um, maybe something like this that does still match, but is another And hear the rain outside it's very soothing i love the sound of rain when there's no you know thunder and although i like the sound of storms too um as long as they're not tornadoes um i do like the sound i guess that's why people use it for meditation and stuff because it's very soothing raining for right now it's just rain my husband said it's okay he said i don't have to he he drives school buses um and he said it's okay because i don't have to go to work this afternoon and i said oh you don't he said no he said i've got a dentist appointment i'm supposed to have a tooth pulled which i'd forgotten about and uh i said oh okay so he already took the afternoon off so at least I don't have to worry about him being out there driving and that, but, um, but if the weather, you know, starts to turn ugly, um, cause he'll cancel his dentist appointment if it does. Um, so I don't have to worry about him being out driving in it, but, which I know those of you who live in the North, I told you yesterday, I know, cause I used to live, um, Indiana and Illinois and um, I know that you're saying you know you guys are crazy this isn't anything but you know for us <laughs> um, I remember one time when I lived in Indiana and um, I was trying to get my kids ready for school and the weather was horrible, horrible. And I kept waiting for them to cancel school and they didn't and they didn't and they didn't. And so finally I loaded the kids up in the car and I, we lived way out in the country. So um, there were a lot of curves and the roads weren't treated and, um, you know, it was, it was not a good situation. And, um, I was in my early twenties, so I was not very experienced as a driver. Um, but I loaded the kids up in the car and started off for their school because they hadn't canceled. And did I cut that too small? No, it's not going to work very well. Um, And I hit a curve in the road that, I mean, the roads were horribly slick. And I hit a curve in the road and almost went off uh, this, like, 
I don't know what they're called, but they're not really bridges, but they're just like tiny bridges over a, I don't know. But anyway, I almost went off this thing into the water in the ditch and um, scared the hell out of me. I mean, I'm just going to tell you, it scared me bad. And so, um, so I, I got out of that and I stopped and I, I shook for a while and then started off again and the roads were awful and I was crying and all this to take my kids to school, right? <laughs> Cause like I didn't have any sense and it was like, you know, they've got school, they need to be in school, whatever. I didn't have enough sense to think, well, you know, this isn't good. And then they've got to get home too. Um, so I finally made it to the highway and I was just turned onto the highway, starting up the highway towards their school. So I was maybe at that point, you know, 10 minutes away, maybe maybe less and uh started up the highway i had the radio on and they announced the school closing now up to the point that i had left my house to take them to school the schools were not closed but all of a sudden they announced a school closing and i was so angry <laughs> On top of shaking, crying, um, and all of that, I was then so mad <laughs> that I had gone through all that, and then they canceled school. So we turned around and went back home, and that was just as traumatic as going. Maybe more so, because at that point I was really mad. <laughs> but um, that's when I knew. I just, it, that was not where I wanted to live. It was not a thing that I wanted to do. Um, so, so I understand those of you up north when you say, you guys, you know, so it's a you know, little bit of snow and possibly a little bit of slick roads. So what's the big deal? But at the same time, having lived what y'all go through, I'm not, that's, that's a big deal to me. So, and then my daughter told me, um, which I never knew for sure. I think maybe I did hear about it at the, I don't remember. She talks about it all the time and I can't remember now if, if, uh, they announced it or not um but she said that the bus was taking them home one time and um uh slid off a hill and um, then they had to sit and wait for them to bring another bus and luckily no one was hurt but it was very traumatic for her, and she always talks about it, um, even now, and she's 32 years old. And it was just the nasty weather. And like I said, we lived way out in the country, so <clears throat> um, We've almost got it. We've almost got it. A um, couple more spots and we'll be good.
And as you can see, I'm not trying to like line anything up necessarily. I'm just, um, just trying to get it covered. And, um, And I sit here and say, I'm not going to sew it. But in my mind's eye, <laughs> I keep seeing myself sewing it. So we'll see. I really don't want to mess up my needle. But um, but if I'm feeling patient at some point, patient enough to deal with that, I might. So my thought is that I'll cover this and then I'm going to kind of um, uh, ink the back of it rather than covering that. And then um, I'm going to make a topper for this, which I'm also going to use the brown paper for, but without like covering it with material, I think. Um, that piece is haunting me just keeps popping up um so that's my plan at this point mm, can't do that okay let me think i need a piece that still has Yeah, let's go with that one. I wanted a piece that still had the pinking. Is it called pinking edging? <clears throat> anyway, um, for that spot. My glue is just not wanting to cooperate today. I need to go and buy a bottle. I said that the other day, and then I found another bottle that had a little in it. And then um, I turned all of my bottles upside down so that they were, um, which is usually the way I store them anyway, but I just hadn't for some reason. And um, so I turned them all upside down so that the glue could you know, flow to the bottom. And so I didn't go and buy any glue yet, which I think I'm going to have to do soon. Okay, so I need some here and here. See what else do I have? Have I used any of that? I don't think I've used that. Let's grab a small piece of this. So I'm trying to decide what to do about work. I have a little PTO available. I mean, I could, I could choose to just stay home. It's just that I hate doing that because then, you know, I'm not there if somebody needs something. Plus, um, there were a few things I wanted to get done yesterday. I didn't get done. So, um, now, I did go ahead and go to the store for my residence. Normally, that would be a Tuesday thing, but um, because I knew there was a possibility I wasn't going to make it to work today, I went ahead and went yesterday. So, at least that got done. I may just wait and go in a little late. That way I can see what the roads are going to do. Um, or I might just take my PTO. I don't know. The problem being, I missed Friday. Um, 
because I was sick. And so, um, to just take another day off, like right after that, I hate to do that. It does not look very responsible at all. And then my residents, you know, they, they can't count on their activities person to be there. Now that said, I did kind of warn them all yesterday that, you know, the reason I was going to the store yesterday and stuff was because I didn't know if I was going to make it there today. So, I mean, they, they know that, but it's still very frustrating. And I'm sure it's frustrating for them, too, because not that they do a lot of my activities but you know I'm sure it's nice to know that I'm there and um, that they can they have the option right And then, of course, I could go in, and then if it started to look like it was going to get, the roads were going to be bad, I could always leave early. Um, one of the great things about my job is I don't have a set schedule, so I can kind of, um, you know, as long as my work gets done, my schedule is kind of up to me. Um, so... Now, tomorrow, um, I have uh, an event with hospice um, for the residents, and so I have to be there for that. So, I mean, like, to a degree, my schedule is up to me. But not entirely. I mean, I guess it is, because I set the times for the events and stuff. Um, but once they're set, when you have somebody coming, they're set. It's not easy to change those. All right, so I've got it covered. That's a start. I'll just clean my mess up a little bit here and we'll take a look. 
Okay, so then what I'll do is I will fold it. Of course, it still needs some drying time because there's still some spots that are not quite ready for folding up. Take this one. Um, so it'll need some drying time, which is fine because I'm pretty much you know, done with this side of it for the moment anyway. Um, now what I may do is I may come back with some Mod Podge and kind of paint over this a little bit or even maybe some, um, uh, what is this stuff? Um, the matte medium, I might use it. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, so, but in the meantime, while that's drying, I'm gonna turn this over and um, what I want to do is just to stress the back of this. And I think I'm going to use I could use hickory smoke. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. So that's that's a Tim Holtz hickory smoke. Um, I guess if I turned it the right way, you could see it's the distress oxide. Um, I kind of like that. I think that's nice. Okay, so then um, I think I might come in with just a little bit of another color on top. Um, I have something kind of blue. Well, I've got this. This is tempting turquoise. That's not really what I want. Um, what have I got here? Sage shadow. That's going to be more of a green. Um, mellow moss is also more of a green. Have anything blue? Um, got broken china. Um, let me see. I'm 
also got these two boxes. Uh, taken with teal, no. I've got some ballet blue and some knight of navy. And some bordering blue. And some brocade blue. Let's see if we like any of those. I'm not going to test it on this, though. Let's get another random piece and just see. That's not bad. Um, this one's not been opened before. And apparently doesn't want to be now. Okay, that one's kind of dark. brocade looks like. Okay. So there none of them are bad. So I'm gonna just try and I just put a little bit of this brocade blue on. This is Stampin' Up! Um, this product. I don't know from when. I got these uh, from a seller on Facebook Marketplace who had um, tons of ink and tons of stamps. They sold me all of it for like... I don't know, $55, $60. Anyway, it was dirt cheap, and I got so much stuff. Um, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. That turned out beautifully. Um, I'm wondering if I want to add... Maybe a little bit of the ballet blue. Um, kind of darkening some areas up a little bit there. Oh, wow. I really like the way this is turning out. Okay. Um... This is the Knight of Navy. I'm going to add just a little bit of that. Oh, yes. I love it. What do y'all think? Um, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like it. I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to use this broken china because I think it was it had a little green in it and it wasn't what I wanted. But I am going to try this um, bordering blue a little bit on it as well. Since it says bordering, we'll try it around the border. How's that? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. That's beautiful. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got here. And then we've got this side, which is still drying. 
and then it will fold into a journal cover once it's dry. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found something useful or at least entertaining. Um, and I hope you crafted along with me. And if you will, please, I would really appreciate it if you, uh, if you liked what you saw, if you'd give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, if you will hit the subscribe button and the little bell. And um, that would just really help me out and leave me a comment let me know what you think the comments are always helpful if you don't want to write anything out if you'll just leave me a little emoji that would be great too thanks so much have a great day bye